so how is everybody doing? Um, what I wanted to do real quick was just do a quick video on the position size calculator that we use in our group, um, specifically for Mac users, right? Uh, there's a video on the website that breaks down exactly how to do it on Windows. Um, I'll put that down below as well. Uh, but this is specifically for Mac users because I know there is a little bit of an issue when you're going through uh, MT5 or MT4 through a Mac using the embedded wine. Um, you know, you're, you're having an issue going from like a Mac folder to a Windows folder, right? So it should be a pretty quick video. We're going to get through it. I'll drop all of the uh, instructions down below as well so you can follow along. Okay, so... I'm gonna bring over the, let's go right over here. This is the website, right? Uh, Earnforex.com, it's the MetaTrader indicator. And on it, um, you'll, you'll have all your information. It really does a good job of breaking mm -hmm. out exactly what each specific thing is. Um, you know, on each side of the position size calculator, this video is not really gonna be going into how to use it and how to uh, set everything up you know, that, that's pretty self-explanatory. There's some really good videos down below on how to do this, right? You can see here, this is how to input the parameters. The next video that's embedded is um, how to actually, what they, what they represent and how to use it. And then of course, there is the installation video right here um, on how to install it, all right? And specifically it's done on a Windows, uh, Windows computer. So just follow along if you do have a Windows computer. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is when you're on this website, and again, I'll drop this link down below, you come right here to downloads, right? So right when you come over here, downloads, click downloads. The first file you have to do, whether you're going to use MT4 or MT5 on your desktop, okay, just click whichever one it is. So I'm using MT5, all right, it's being, um, it's, it's actually downloaded already. And then the next one I need to do is I need to come over here and I need to download the MT5 PSC script, okay? So go ahead and download that. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to install it after it's installed. If you wanna install a hotkey for it, it's pretty simple on how to do the hotkey. Um, but let's navigate over here now to the files. Okay, and once you get the files, I'm gonna open it up here, bring it over, all right? Just extract them, right? So we got the position size calculator. Now we need the PSC script trader. And boom, we got that. So I'm gonna delete the zip folders because I no longer need those. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now open up and put this into my documents folder right here, right? So my documents, just drag PSC over. This is, I do have it installed, but I'm upgrading, right? I'm, I'm putting in the latest one. This is version 1.14. Um, I'm actually, I think about like, I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> I, I haven't updated in a while. So I'm gonna hit replace and then I'm gonna move position size calculator over and I'm gonna hit replace, okay? So now that we have those done, now what we need to do is we need to open up MT5, right? So let's open up MT5. And once we're open up in MT5, this is where we have to go now. All right, so where we have to go is come over here to file, open data folder, all right? From open data folder now, what we need to do is this, right? Remember, we dropped those into my documents. So click on my documents. What you're going to do is you're going to copy the entire folder. So just right click, copy, go back, come to MQL5, double click on it, go to indicators. And now you can see I have position size calculator in there. All I'm going to do is just paste it in and replace it, right? Just replace it. So now we're in there, it's replaced. Okay, um, let me just bear with me one second. Okay, so you're going to come over here to MQL5, go to indicators, and just right click and paste. Okay, boom, it just created it. We're in there now. Go back. Okay, we're going to go back and go back to my documents and what we need to do hold on uh, what we need to do is as soon as it opens up so now we're back in my documents 
what we're going to do now is we're going to find the PSC trader, the MQ5 folder, right? This MQ5. Um, and you can see it's the one that uh, is from October 21st. So it's actually a, an older one. Um, but you're going to right click on that. Okay. Copy. And now you're going to go back to MQL5, double click, go to scripts. And now you're going to drop the script in here. Okay. So that's it. We're done. You can close this out. The next thing we're going to do is you're going to come over here to tools. You're going to go to MetaQuotes Language Editor. Okay, so now we're open in the Meta Editor. Okay, and what we're going to do is come over here to, on the left-hand side, you're going to go to Indicators. You're going to find the position size calculator. And the one that says .mq5, click on it, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to, essentially, you're, we're going to compile it, right? So what we're going to do is this. Bring, just double-click on it. Double click on it, it's loaded in, hit compile. On the bottom here, let me, uh, let me actually move this. There we go. So on the bottom, bottom here, you're gonna let it go all the way through. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. You can see we're at like 34%. As soon as it comes to 100% now, it should uh, finish by saying no errors, right? If there's an error, then we're gonna have to figure out what happened, but let's just make sure this is all good. All right, so zero errors, zero warnings, we're done. Let's do the same thing with the script. Come over to script, double click PSC, hit compile, let it run through its thing. There we go, we're done. So now what we can do is we can come over, let me drag this all the way down. We can drop, come over to the first thing we're gonna do is under indicators, double click on position size calculator, it's gonna open up the very first thing. You can see this is the newest version, 2.4.1, or I'm sorry, 2.41. I was at 2.40. Um, so this is the new update. What you wanna do is you wanna allow down here, allow for modification of signals, okay? And then you're, needed, you're going to need to put in the inputs. Now going back to the website, okay? It breaks down everything here. So <clears throat> it goes line by line and they actually do a good job. So you can see like each number correlates, what number five is, what number 33, what it represents, all right? So what you're gonna be able to do is come in here and physically change it, right? So if you wanna, you know, all you gotta do is double click. If you wanna change the colors. Now on a Mac, you can't change the colors, but on the windows, you can. You're able to change the font size, the, the different types of font. Um, you know, all of this stuff in here. For me, the key things that I like to do is what my percentage is, you know, uh, for my quick, um, my quick, I have, you know, for a quarter percent or I have for an eighth of a percent. Um, the other thing I have is my TPs. Um, you know, I do four TPs. So, you know, I do four right in here instead of one. Um, but what you can do is this, I already have mine um, save. So once you put it all in, you want to hit save, right? You want to hit save and you can save it. I prefer to save it in my favorites because I know where it's at, but you're going to see, I'm going to load mine that I had, I've done for a while, right? This is the one that I'm going to do. Load it in, hit okay. So now it's already done all of my presets, right? Everything that, you know, I have in here and I'm going to hit okay. So now it's going to load the PSC. It's going to drag it over here. You can see that we are 2.41. You can see that I have a risk of a quarter percent or 0.13 because it rounds up. So I can change it. All I got to do is just click on what I want to risk, right? Um, and then I can go ahead and put the TPs in here. Um, it talks about my risk. I can go in here and put the, um, you know, the credentials for what my TPs are. I can, you know, split it all it has to do is add up to 100%. So if I want to change, you know, my first TP instead of 25% to 10, I would have to augment the rest of the um, positions to make sure it adds up to 100%. <clears throat> so now that you have this loaded in here, here's my suggestion, right? So instead of having to, um, every time you want to open a chart, right? So let's say I'm going to open up a chart here, you're odd, right? Instead of opening up a chart and then having to come over here to position size calculator, 
load your settings under favorites, right? Hit okay and let it do its thing, all right? You'll see it's gonna load in here on the right-hand side. Instead of having to do that, just set it as a default, right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, another key thing that you wanna do is right up here where it says algo trading, you wanna make sure that that's selected, okay? So now once you have the PSC on your screen, just go to right click, okay? Go to templates, right? And what you wanna do is you wanna hit save template and you're gonna just make it the default, right? If you don't have a default one, just type in default and hit save, okay? So now every time I open up a new chart, so let me see, I'm gonna open up Euro GDP, you're gonna see that it's automatically going to load the position size calculator right? You don't have to do anything. The next thing that you want to do is, uh, so what I like to do is I, I favorite this, right? So I have position size calculator. I'm going to add to favorites. You can see right in here, favorites. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is the PSC trader. I'm going to make that into a favorite as well, right? So um, essentially, if I'm going to add in a um, if I'm going to add in this token, all I need to do is now double click when I'm ready to add the position. It's going to ask me for confirmation, right? And I'm going to hit OK because I have it set for confirmation, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that to favorites as well, okay? Just so that I have it, I always have my accounts there and everything like that. That way it's easy to get to. The other thing you can do is on this position size calculator, all right, on the PSE script itself, set a hockey, okay? You can set a hockey. And you can see uh, my old one that I used to do, and I guess I can delete this one here, but the old one that I used to do, uh, let me reset all, right? And I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna say control, right? For me, it's control because it's the furthest left key. And then I'm going to make the letter P, right? So control P is what's going to give me, instead of having to double click on PSE Trader, it's just the hotkey, I'm gonna hit set, and close. So now when I'm ready to do it, all I got to do is hit, once I have the credentials in, you know, my uh, entry point, my stop loss, if I'm going to put my TPs in, I'm just going to hit control P. And up here on the right hand side, you'll see that it starts saying um, the PSC is working. And then do I want to execute this trade? Okay. So that's essentially how that works. Okay. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's pretty much how the position size calculator uh, works. Um, again, you can move this around, you can set it in all the different points, you can make it the opacity on it, you can make it uh, so that it's not uh, in, the for, uh, in the background, it's in the foreground or whatever you want to do. Um, play around with it. It's definitely a pretty cool, um, a pretty cool thing. I, I've been using it for, I don't know, a year and a half now. And um, it's probably the best thing I've ever had because you don't have to worry about um, doing an actual position size calculator through an outside source, everything's embedded in MT5, uh, as well as, you know, you can just move your lines and stuff like that. It'll, it'll, you know, you know, definitely go through the tutorial, look at it. I just wanted to do a quick video on how to install it. All right. If you have any questions, hit me down below in the comment section. I'll try to respond. Uh, but hopefully this, uh, hopefully this is self-explanatory for you. With that, have a great one. Thank you. Um,